and welcome to Barracuda Mitsubishi. My name is Ruby and today we're doing a walk around video on this stunning uh, silver 2017 Mitsubishi Pajero Sport in the Exceed model. Now of course you do have your very large Mitsubishi diamond uh, badging on there and as you can see it does have that uh, glass covering to it meaning you do have the adaptive cruise control in this model um, and it does work through that diamond logo right there. Now you do have your black going on the bottom there as well and you do have your chrome accenting as well just to help out with um, aesthetics and whatnot with that. Now you do have your uh, front parking sensors in this model as well, colour coded in. And on the headlight itself, you do have your daytime running lamps through the bottom there as well. Give a bit more visibility to you and everyone else on the road to know that you are there. Now, only in the Exceed model, you do have the headlight washers there as well. Um, when your headlights do get a bit dirty, they do just pop out and wash them for you and you do have your fog lights down the bottom there as well. Moving around to our first alloy wheel here. Excellent uh, tread on that tyre and that wheel is in excellent condition all by being a touch dirty. Apologies for that one. Now you do have your chrome side mirror and your chrome door handles in this model as well. Again, just to help give you a bit more um, of a sleek and aesthetic look to it as well. Now you do have your indicator built into your uh, side mirror there as well, just to give everyone around you a better idea of whether you're indicating or merging or anything like that. Now you do have a side step fitted to this as well, again help anyone on the shorter side into the vehicle. And you do have privacy glass on the back here as well. Um, now while that does not um, provide much heat protection, it does um, give the car a bit more of a sleeker look and help uh, protect anything that you do have in the back there. You do have the roof rails as well. If you did want to add on some roof racks, that is definitely something we can help organise for you at an additional cost. Um, over onto our second alloy wheel here. Again, excellent life on the tyre and that wheel is in excellent condition. Again, all by being a touch dirty. Apologies again for that. Now coming around to the back of the vehicle, you do have your very large brake lights, uh, tail lights on the back there and your colour matched um, rear parking sensors there. You do have the reverse camera fitted here as well, um, just above the license plate there. It is on the curb side as well, just to help you out with um, parallel parking a bit more. Now inside the vehicle, you do have all of your floor mounts in here as well. And this is a seven seater. So I'll just move some of these floor mounts and I'll show you how these seats fold up. Now you just need to pull that one and there's the back of the seat that's folded up and then the base you do just need to pull it down and then it locks into place like so and then the headrest does come up but apparently not today um, so yeah that's how you fold that one up and to fold it back down pull that little tag to fold the base down and then pull that one to fold the back down as well now you do also have a little storage compartment as well in the back here as well. And then this just twists down to drop your spare wheel out as well. Folding that one back down, you do have a little hand hold as well, as this is a rather large tailgate. Now you do have the full size spare wheel underneath the car there. And one thing that this vehicle is screaming out for is a tow bar. Again, we can sort that out for you at an additional cost. Now coming around to the passenger side of the vehicle, one thing to take note of, your fuel filler cap is on the passenger side there as well. And then onto that our third alloy wheel, excellent condition on that wheel and the tyre itself again, near new just like all the others. Now again on this side of the vehicle, I cannot fault it in any way. Um, it has been very well looked after. Onto that fourth alloy wheel again, excellent life in the tyre itself and that wheel again excellent condition so what we'll do now guys is we'll just pop up in the bonnet and have a look at the engine underneath all right guys so here we are looking at the engine of the 2017 Mitsubishi Pajero Sport Exceed now this is a four-cylinder 2.4 litre turbo diesel engine and the car itself is an eight-speed automatic now with this vehicle you do have a five-star NCAP safety rating with a total of seven airbags throughout and you also, uh, with the engine, produce 133 kilowatts of power and 430 newton meters of torque. Now being a diesel, you do have a 68 litre capacity diesel tank uh, using roughly eight litres to the 100 kilometres 
giving you an average fuel distance of 850 kilometers to the tank. Guys, here we are inside the 2017 Mitsubishi Pajero Sport XC. Now inside this uh, vehicle you do have all of the leather trim um, and some piano black finishing on there as well. And then over onto our driver's side door, you have all four of your power window controls with your driver's side being an automatic, of course. Um, you do have your central locking controls and your window locking right there at a uh, thumb's reach in case the children in the back are playing with all of the windows. Looking through our steering wheel, I don't know if our camera will see, um, this is a push button start stop engine in here. Um, you do have all of your power mirror controls as well with your little uh, button to flick in your side mirrors if you are trying to get into a tight uh, parking spot as well. And on those mirrors you do also have the um, blind spot warnings as well. So that does um, flash up if there is a car coming up into your blind spot. Now just down the bottom here you do have your uh, traction control on and off button, parking sensors on and off button and your front collision mitigation warning as well. So you can set that to be really close, um, far away and in a nice common middle ground as well. Now you do have the paddle shift in this model as well um, with the right hand side being for up and the left hand side for down if you did want to drive this car as if it was a manual. Now on our right hand stalk here you do have all of your power window control, uh, sorry, um, your indicator controls and you do have automatic headlights in this model. Um, if you didn't want to use those you can still use them as normal but you can just flick it to auto and let the car do the rest of the work for you. Over onto our left hand stalk you have all of your um, window washers so for your front and your rear and you also have an auto function on for your wipers as well. Now on the steering wheel itself being the Exceed it is beautifully leather wrapped um, you do have your diamond logo right in the middle there over on our right hand side we have all of our cruise control settings and our speed limiter um, right at a thumbs reach there along with your front collision, uh, sorry not your, uh, you do have your adaptive cruise control in this model as well so with this button you can set how far or close you want to be to the car in front of you. Now with this button that does look like a couple of credit cards you can just flick through and see um, what's in your centre screen here. So. Your, whether you're in two hop wheel drive or four wheel drive, um, your trip meter and all that sort of stuff as well. Now on the right hand, sorry left hand side of the steering wheel you do have all of your infotainment controls along with a little button that does look like a battery. Um, now that button does give you a view of the um, camera in the vehicle as well. Now you can use the front camera to help you park um, with the 360 camera as well and then you do have the gutter camera as well on your passenger side so that you can parallel park with ease and miss the gutter. Now on the um, head unit itself I'll just pop the car into reverse so that you can see the beautiful reversing camera from the back um, and you do have the 360 camera next to you there as well with yellow lines that come up to show where you are going to end up if you keep moving at the angle you're on. Now back into park, this is a fully um, touch screen display here as well. Um, if you are using the Apple CarPlay Android Auto function, it does just come up on the app side there. Um, consider it to be a, a mirror of your phone itself. Um, you can use your maps, Spotify, Apple Music, all of that sort of stuff through that. Um, and make your phone calls, um, voice text and all those sorts of things. You do just have regular Bluetooth as well, um, AM, FM radio, digital radio, USB audio, um, all of your settings in there as well, Bluetooth audio, HDMI, you do have a day and night mode as well. If you set it to auto it does just go as your headlights turn on or you can um, set it manually as well. Now you can just turn the screen off and of course press the power button to bring it back on and you do just have a nice clock display if that's something that you did want to have there. Um, and then of course with your GPS it does actually just work off of the maps on your phone rather than having to update your SD card every year. Um, you can just use your Google Maps and you always have an up-to-date map with you. Now just below that you do have dual zone um, climate control as well. Um, so if I wanted to be a different temperature to my passenger it's nice and easy to do so. Now you do have your hazards button front and centre there, seat belt warning alarm as well, uh, heated seats for the front seats, rear diff lock on and off, um, 
your blind spot monitoring on and off as well along with your rear fans so to make sure the kids in the back are keeping cool and you do have a 12 volt socket as well now moving down you do have your automatic shifter again you can just put it into drive and flick it over to the left and you can drive it as if it was a manual moving down you do have your downhill descent control and your um, terrain selector electric park brake so same as a normal one up for on down for off of course the red light meaning it is on um, and your four wheel drive selector now with this one you can go between two high and four high while you are driving you just need to be um, under 100 kilometers now just to point out this vehicle does come with two factory keys as well um, nice and easy there you don't have to organize another key um, and you do have your two very large cup holders there too looking inside our center console we do have a nice little tray that does just sit on the top um, so you can put anything like your phone or anything else that you might need on there um, you do have a HDMI port, two USB ports and a 12 volt socket in there as well so what I'll do is just let the camera person pan around and show you the beautiful condition that this car is in on the interior and get you a really good look at that beautiful leather in there and I'll just pull out the service book and have a look at that one for you Now being that this vehicle has only done 18,905 kilometres, um, we're not expecting a very full service book. Um, we do have our very first service done at 15,000 kilometres um, and then at 18,000 kilometres, so 18,875, we have done our inter interim service when we received the vehicle. So what we'll do now guys is we'll just pop outside and wrap up the video. Guys, so that sums up our walk around video on this uh, beautiful Pajero Sport XC. Now this car does qualify for a premium mechanical protection plan that we do offer. Um, if you are financing with our in-house finance team, it does only work out to not a whole lot um, additional on your payments every week, monthly or fortnight, whatever you decide that your payments um, you would like them to be. Um, now this plan does cover 181 components within the car over five years or up to that 200,000 kilometre mark and you do get 10 years of platinum roadside assistance. If you'd like to hear more about this car or that plan, or take this car for a test drive or even have a chat with our in-house finance team, please give us a call on 9907 555. My name is Ruby and thank you for watching.